Ancient manuscript which dates back 2000 years suggests giants lived on Earth. An ancient antediluvian text literally speaks of how giants aka Nephilim walked on Earth. Discovered in the Qumran caves, the Book of Giants describes how the Nephilim lived on Earth creating chaos and destruction. The Qumran caves are a series of caves, some natural, some artificial, found around the archaeological site of Qumran in the Judean desert of the West Bank have yielded incredibly important ancient relics. The Qumran caves is precisely where numerous Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered. The caves are recognized in Israel as a national heritage site. The so-called Dead Sea Scrolls are a massive collections composed of 981 different manuscripts discovered between 1946-47, 1956-2017 and 2017 in 12 of the caves. The texts are of great historical, religious, and linguistic significance because they include the second oldest known surviving manuscripts of works later included in the Hebrew Bible canon, along with deuterocanonical and extra-biblical manuscripts which preserve evidence of the diversity of religious thought in late Second Temple Judaism. But in addition to the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Qumran Caves is where experts recovered the Book of Giants an apocryphal Jewish book expanding a narrative in the Hebrew Bible. According to researchers, this ancient text is believed to have been based on the Book of Enoch, considered as a pseudepigraphical work dating back to the 3rd century BCE. A small piece of the Book of Giants and the Dead Sea Scrolls. It is said that thousands of years ago, angels and humans interacted freely, a fact well documented in the Genesis, 6-1-4. The book specifically focuses on the two children of Shemi Haza, Ea, and Hai. However, there are many ancient texts that make reference to the Nephilim. According to JT. Milik. The Book of Giants is a book that is believed to have been a part of the Pentateuch of Enoch along with the Book of Watches, the Book of Dreams, the Epistle of Enoch, and the Astronomical Book. All of these would have been significant from the beginning of the first century. However, during the Christian era, this collection was altered and this narrative was replaced by the Book of Parables. The sparse copies of these books could have been due to a lack of overall use after it was replaced by the Book of Parables. Another text is the Book of Genesis, which undoubtedly describes these mysterious creatures considered by mainstream scholars, only as mythological beings of mankind's distant history. Most of the information gathered today come from the apocryphal Book of Enoch. This ancient work is historically attributed to Noah's great-grandfather. This ancient manuscript The Book of Giants suggests that these creatures were 200 trees from heaven and that they came down and populated planet Earth. These beings are said to have been extremely corrupted and debased and were prone to hideous acts of violence and unnatural acts with animals and human beings. The ancient texts detail how the Nephilim lived on Earth and created chaos and destruction. At one point in history, they began having prophetic dreams of Armageddon, as fear swept through their hearts. According to the texts, the first of the Nephilim to have such prophetic dreams was Moe, the Tartan son of the angel Barakal. According to his dream, a huge tablet was submerged underwater, as the tablet surfaces only three names are left. This is believed to symbolize the great flood and eventual distribution of all but Noah's sons.